guys, today I'm filming my monthly makeup basket for January 2018. It is going to take me forever to remember that it's 2018 and to get used to writing that 1-8 on my papers. It's going to be so hard for me. But this is my second month to use my winter makeup products. I pulled a lot of my favorite things, so I'm really excited to use these this month. I do have a project pan going on currently, so I am incorporating a lot, actually all of those products, into my makeup basket. So starting with nail polish, I have five different shades pulled out for this month because there are five weeks in January. The first is Zoya's Margot. This is my number one VMP polish, the perfect mixture of red and purple. A lot of times these kind of colors pull more red. And this is a polish I'm going to be wearing for New Year's. You guys have seen this video after New Year's, but I am filming this actually the day before. And this is going to perfectly match this jumpsuit that I'm wearing, which by the way, it's very out of my comfort zone. I don't usually like things like that, but I really enjoy the way that this looks on me. So I wanted to pick a nail polish that I thought would match it really nicely. And then I have another favorite of mine, and this is Formula X Impeccable, which is a beautiful, light, warm, nude mauve color. I love the Formula X polishes. So sad they were discontinued. Then I have OPI Designer to Better, which is a beautiful platinum metallic polish with some copper reflex in it. My next polish is from 90 Lacquer, and this is the shade S'more Hollow, which is a taupe holographic. And the last polish is Color Club Harp on it, which is the most true holographic silver shade. Moving on to brow products, I will be starting with my NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil. I have really missed using this since I was trying to finish up something else in a project. Then I'll be using two brow pencils, the Benefit Goof Proof in the shade number two and the NYX Micro Brow in the shade taupe. For brow powder, I'll be using something different. I'll be using my MAC eyeshadow in Omega. I've neglected this for a while, but this is something that I would like to finish up in 2018, so I want to go ahead and get started using this. And then I'll be setting my brows in place with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Blonde. Again, another product I'm really happy to start using again. Moving on to complexion products for primer, I'll be using the MAC Prep and Prime Radiance Primer in the shade Radiant Yellow. It's a lot of words. It's the yellow tinted primer. I squeezed out what was left into this jar so it was just easier to get the product out and to apply it on my face. And then I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. For foundation, I don't really have anything picked out for this month. I just want to play around with my collection and try to come up with the perfect shade mixture to get my perfect match. I really just want to spend more time playing with that so I can get the mixture perfect every time. For concealer, I have quite a few. To correct under my eyes, I'll be using the NYX HD Concealer in the shade Porcelain. To highlight and conceal under my eyes, I'll be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair, mixed with the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer in Whiteout, which I forgot to grab. And then for blemishes, I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. To set my under eyes, I'm using the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. To set my face, I'm using a combination of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in number 5 Fair and the Maybelline Better Skin Powder in 10 Porcelain. Moving on to cheek products, everything is going to be the same through the months of December, January, and February. So for bronzer, I am using Benefits Hoola. To contour, I'm using the NYX Blush and Taupe. But I did change my highlighter recently. I went back through my bronzer contour and a highlight collection. I got rid of a few things and then I reconfigured what season I would like which color to be worn in. So for my winter highlight, I changed it to the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Pearl. So this will be my main highlight, but I also want to play around a little bit more with the MAC Extra Dimension Eyeshadow in the shade Ready to Party, which is that beautiful opalescent color. And then we have all of the blushes I chose. First is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Cheerio, MAC Breath of Plum, Clinique Cheek Pop in Heather Pop, Elf's Berry Mary, Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. And then they have my three blushes in palettes. From the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette, I am using this shade Unleashed. From the NARS Guy Bourdain palette, I'm using the shade Ghoulie, which is also an individual color. From In the Balm of Your Hand palette, I'm using Caban Boy, which is also an individual blush. 
Moving on to eye products, I have the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. This month I will also be using the Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade next to Note, which I'm really excited to try out. I've used it a couple times, but really just playing with it. I haven't worn it for a whole day. And then I do have the eyeshadows I'm trying to pan in my current project pan. So I have the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in the shade Rose Gold. This is a product that I scraped out of the bottom of the container. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Weenie. I accidentally put Lala back in my collection, so I need to pull that and use them both this month. And then I'm also trying to use Fresh from the Tamana palette, which is like a matte cream color. Um, one Fresco from the Modern Renaissance palette, which is like a dusty, cool tone purple color. And then I'm also using Dusty Rose, which is an individual more dusty rose color so all of those as well and then some other shadows I will be using this month for a little mini palette I will be using the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves I think that these shades are so beautiful five different matte shades that I think will go really well with some of these other eyeshadows that I have chosen and then I have my little winter Z palette I did post this on my Instagram but I have recently reconfigured some of the shades so the shades I have in here are Anastasia Pink Champagne Anastasia Macaroon Makeup Geek Lucky Penny ColourPop High Strung ColourPop Double Date, ColourPop Pinky Promise, Makeup Geek Cupcake, Anastasia Dusty Rose, and ColourPop Going Steady. So these are the shades I will be using this month and I think that the mattes in this palette will go with these shades really nicely. I forgot to pull a liner out of my collection to start using because I just finished up the Physicians Formula Eye Boost Liquid Liner I've been using for a while. And for mascara, I'm using a new combination of the CoverGirl Clump Crusher and the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. And then I have my six lip products, and these are a little bit more diverse than the ones that I chose last month. So I've got one little mini lipstick here. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Cream in the shade C211. ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Flawless. This is a satin finish, and this is a dupe for Max Rebel. ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Tiny Chum from the Hello Kitty collection. Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soft Lilac. And the NYX Butter Glosses in the shade Angel Food Cake and Cranberry Biscotti. So here are swatches of all the lip colors. This is Makeup Forever C211, Color Pop Flawless, Color Pop Tiny Chum, Anastasia Soft Lilac, NYX Angel Food Cake, and NYX Cranberry Biscotti. So guys, that's my monthly makeup basket for January 2018. I would love to know your thoughts if you tried out any of these products. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.